allow her to come back to the Cameron House, we will ensure that she learns the skills necessary to transition out of prostitution. We thank you for your compassion, Your Honor. Hello, what's your name? I'm Ty. You must be tired. Sit. You do not need to be afraid. I know you do not speak English, but you will learn. Miss Cameron is very nice, and the other woman here will take care of you. Do you have a family? Where is your mother? You do not know. That is too bad. I know what it is like to miss one's mother. I left mine when I was a very young girl. I like to think that she is very happy with me now, and proud that I can speak English and help others. Anyway, I try not to dwell on the past too much. We will look forward to the rest of your life, and we can do that together. Ty, it's Miss Cameron. You would not believe who I just heard from, my friend Deaconess Mauer at the Angel Island Immigration Station. Imagine what she told me. Ty, after all these years under the Exclusion Act, the Chinese are still required to spend weeks, sometimes months, in detainment there. Ty, they're in desperate need of interpreters to help communicate with them all. Yes, Ty, I told her about you and how you were born here and speak very good English. She was very impressed. Well, how after nine years you run the kitchen here and how you teach the girls English and, well, you try to teach me Chinese. <laughs> yes, I also told her about your work interpreting for the girls so they do not have to return to the brothels. Now, Ty, she would like to offer you the position I will cook for them. 
as my mother cooked for me. Now tie. First you add the oil. When the oil is hot, add the noodle. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And now um, Ted Schultz, Ty's grandson, will be talking about Ty's life. 